Well, welcome to the show, Jakob. Uh, I'm glad you made the uh, the appearance. Uh, for those who are watching or listening, uh, I am joined now by Jakob Do- Dobesh of the University of Ohio. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello. Thanks for having me. Now, I'm going to just start it off with uh, with something basic and simple. What what brought you to the United States? Well, I always knew that Canada and the United States are, you know, kind of the two best countries where the hockey is all about. So while I had an opportunity to come here and play, you know, it was kind of a no-brainer. And I'm really glad I, I came to the United States because I feel like I finally got a chance here and I got a, a big opportunity to show, you know, what I can do. Now, your brother followed your footsteps, too, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. He is uh, he's a couple of years younger, but he does follow my footsteps. He's in the North American Hockey League right now. So kind of where I started my junior career. Well, do you uh, do you play year round or you, do you play other sports through the summer? Um, I like to play soccer. Uh, but once I'm getting older, I kind of try to not get injured during the summer. So I just, you know, just kind of work out. And actually, we played basketball last summer here a lot because basketball is big here. So there is a lot of courts in our facility. So we played uh, 5v5 basketball. I'm kind of in, like new into it, so I'm not very good. But my size, size kind of helps me, you know. With that, so last summer I played basketball quite a lot, but tried to stay from it to just you know don't risk any injury. Now, do you uh, do you stay there through the summer in uh, in Ohio? Yes, I did the last two summers, but I feel like this summer I will go home for a little bit since I haven't been there in a in a long time. So uh, actually. I don't know if it's two summers. I haven't definitely didn't go last summer, so I will go this summer. I kind of told my parents that I will I will make a visit, so I will go. Now I I know you're very busy with with school and with the hockey, but did you take any time out to watch Chechia play in the World Juniors this year? A little bit. Um, honestly, watch Canada more. Uh. I didn't watch the final game. I watched Canada play Slovakia, the OT, and I could watch a little bit, but not too much. I was more impressed by Bedard than anything else, to be honest. That that kid is uh, something else. He's something. He is something yeah. else. Um, well, I, I mean, you did play internationally for Chechia in the in uh, mm-hmm. I believe it was four years ago, five years ago. I don't even remember. Could be. It was a long time ago. So I don't... Yeah. Uh, it was one, two, three. Yeah, almost four years ago, yeah. So... Do you, do you keep in touch with any of them? Any of your teammates from that time? Um, I did. I had a, had a one guy who played in the USHL against me quite a lot. So we always catch up but not no not really um it's been four years a lot of guys kind of moved on with their hockey careers i don't i don't remember the tournament and i don't remember our team but i i'm not really um it's been so long so i don't i don't really i'm not in contact with any of them i believe now what made you choose the ncaa route versus major junior or another route here in North America? I feel like the college level is kind of not better, but I just like that it's two ways. You know, if hockey doesn't work out, you have something in your pocket. If it does work out, it's a still really good league that produces so many great players. You know, there are 
really to make a jump into NHL right away. So I just feel like I like the combination of both. I think that that's a really good pick for whoever wants to do it. What's your major? International business. So you took something really hard. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm not doing pretty good. Um, I passed all my classes. I was actually just one, but it was accounting. So I'm, I'm still going, still, still there. Yeah, I. It's been a while. I graduated university back in the '90s, so, you know, I, I have a vague recollection of yeah. what that was like, and it, I know it wasn't easy. No, definitely. Not. I mean, some classes are easy, but the major usually the major classes are pretty can get pretty hard. They're fairly intense. I agree with that. Um, now, why did you choose Ohio? Is there a reason why you chose Ohio? Um. Um. Well. The first time I was talking to the schools, it was pretty much the schools that aren't as good or I will say championship. They don't have a, ambitions to win as many championships. But as far as the season goes, you know, the schools were getting better and better. And one day I remember that Ohio State started talking to me and I was, I was kind of surprised because, you know, for an international player, uh like the tendencies are more like going to the school which is easier and easier to get into Ohio State was even though I committed it was still you know hard school to get into through all the ACTs SATs and all those stuff all all these tests so I just kind of pick Ohio State because you know it's a great school like everything here is so amazing that it was kind of a no-brainer to pick, and I feel like I made a really good decision. A good decision, and it's kind of meant to be because I love it. So it's really good here. Now, for the the hockey side of this, now um, you guys are one of the top programs in the nation. Uh, I believe you're seventh right now in the country, and I you, think you're the third ranked team in the Big Ten in your conference. Mm -hmm. What's what's the what is your coach pushing you guys towards doing to uh, get past that hump? Um, well, we definitely got better, not taking as many penalties as we did in the beginning, and we kind of realized what team we are over you know the break, and now we kind of now we kind of know what to do to be able to get wins and be successful. So um I think I think where we are right now is probably uh where we are supposed to be, but I feel like with this team we can definitely move a couple more spots and I think we are second in the Big Ten. Second, but it's really close because all the Big Ten teams are like even though we are tied up or it's literally like three points and if you lose two games in a row you can be almost dead, like last it's crazy so we'll see I think we have a good team I think we have a better team than last year I think we are just a better team overall if you know what I mean yeah I, yeah I've seen I've seen some progression from you guys from last year I mean you, you had a great season you're having another great season this year but I've seen I've seen your teammates being able to step up a little bit more and you guys are going to be playing Penn state in a weekend series coming up. What's, what's the plan of attack for that weekend series? Well, I think they like to attack. First of all, we, we kind of, well, we know they like to put pucks on the net. They like to go with three guys and go just North and forward so i think that's kind of you know our we kind of go with a mentality that even though we are not down by 20 30 shots as they are normal to put shots on that we just wait and be try to be smarter than them so i think we'll be 
try not to attack, but be more like smarter and be just have a better plan. And I think, you know, we can succeed because, you know, we both us and them are a good team, but I think we, we can get it out, especially at home. So I think we have the upper hand, but you never know. No, I, I mentioned you're, you're having yet another great season. Uh, almost uh, your your numbers are almost the same as last season in uh, in your first year and you were just nominated as one of the early nominees for the Hobie Baker w- mm-hmm. what does that feel like well i think last year a couple of guys on our team got kind of you know we should have been on the list last year too but i i was told that you know freshman doesn't get it as much so, like me, Mason Lori, and Jake Wise, that's the three of us who get nominated. We didn't really like, it was kind of a automatic thing, but we really appreciated, you know, we can get in the top 80, but it wasn't like no one really celebrated or anything. It was kind of just a normal thing, if you know what I mean. It's kind of a, our kind of mentality that we are supposed to be there and hopefully we'll, you know, try to win it I think we can all do it all three of us does that does it kind of un- underscore uh all the work you've done to get to this point it kind of it, it it makes it more real uh, more real uh well the only thing I wanted I want to win sorry someone is calling me uh okay uh the only thing that I kind of want to win is something with the team. Uh, uh, I I mean, personal, you know, achievements are great, but my only goal, not only goal, but my main goal was to win something with Ohio State as a group because I think that will mean way more than, you know, just me celebrating, if you know what that means. Like, I'm, I'm more of a team guy than... Even though I'm a goalie, which is kind of a your own thing, like I like to win as a team, and uh, that's that's our main focus. We don't really, I don't think anyone in our team thinks about their personal achievements. It's us as a group. So if we win, um, uh, the Big Ten, uh, championship, and I will be the worst goalie in Big Ten, uh, I don't really care. You know, it's that's kind of my mentality i just want to win as a team i don't i don't look at the personal i look at wins and i look at my team that's the only two things i really care about speaking of the team when you arrived were there any traditions or quirks uh that you found a little odd at first but uh, now enjoy with uh with your teammates um well there is a lot of traditions through the Ohio State, you know, we get stickers after every shutout, win, uh, or sweep, uh, which is pretty cool. It looks good when you, like, fill up the helmet from the both sides. After every win, we kind of uh, do our singing of our uh, song, I would say. It's pretty cool, too. You know, when you have a lot of fans in a building, it, it's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? You know, obviously Michigan crossing the amps and everything. I don't really do that, but it's still cool. You can see it since, like, till now. There's three amps crossed on the campus, and I don't know. There's a lot of good traditions. I think every single one means something, and it's good. Now, speaking of traditions, you've been drafted by the Montreal Canadiens, which is one of the te- perhaps the top hockey team with the most tradition, the most culture, most background. Um, have you gone to Columbus to catch any of the games while they, uh, while you've been at school? Yes, I've been, I've been in three games, I believe three, four. Um, yes. I went to maybe four. I don't remember exactly, but I know I went last year and I know when I went this year three or four times and it was great. Like, um, 
you know, a lot of good players. And I got kind of deceased by the Montreal fans. So it was good. It's, you know, always good to watch them. And the fans get a little bit rabid at times. Yeah, but they're nice. They're nice. They yeah. they weren't like crazy. They were they were supportive, yeah. but you know, in good limits. Now, with the Canadians going through a rebuild, and you're looking ahead at your future. I know you're you're focused on the season, but you you do look ahead a bit. Do you see a path forward for you to reach the NHL? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the that's the goal. You know, I want. I want to do everything possible to have the best career ever. You know, NHL is the best league in the world. So that's my that's my goal. And I hope it will be with the Canadians. You know, I, I, I said it before, like, whatever they want me to do, I would do. I trust them. And we'll see what the future brings. But I'll definitely work hard, you know, to achieve that work. Speaking of that, uh, that communication, that trust with the organization, I've spoken to a few of the other prospects. What have they, uh, what has the development team uh, contacted you with and how has that contact been? Um, it's good. I mean, I talked to Mr. Ramage or Ramage a lot. Uh, um, he, you know, he's from St. Louis. I'm from I'm there quite a lot. So, you know, he's very supportive. He tells me to, you know, to keep going from the goalie side. You know, there's a lot of guys, a lot of people I talk to. Uh, they always kind of, I feel like they're, uh, their main goal is not to make me con- be confused about my game, but they always give me a little, little adjustments that doesn't make as much the difference but they do but they're not as big like you know be more composed don't as don't be don't interact with other players because you know like sometimes when it gets a little crazy um i might like like do something but it was like back then now it's totally different but you know that's the one thing but i don't think they really try to like um change me right now they are kind of i feel like it's it's a progress and they kind of like you know where i'm at and how i'm progressing and i feel like when you know if i reach a pro level they will kind of take over i don't know i'm it's kind of interesting but i do like it because you know i don't have as much voice in my head and i'm kind of when i was at the development camp during the summer you know i saw a couple things that you know i need to be better at as a athlete and i was try to take as much notes and everything to you know break into the season and I think it's working out well. Now um with your game, what did you work on over the summer to improve on what you're doing what you did last year? Because I, I notice that you're a little bit quicker and your technique is a little bit stronger with facing the shots. Was there anything that you worked on over the summer to improve on that? Um, I was working out a lot just to be stronger and faster and just be better in a better physique. Um, I don't think I really try to change a whole lot because, you know, I don't like to try to change things when it's, it's working out. So I don't think from the, um, I wasn't as good earlier in the season with the puck, I kind of struggled. Uh, I needed to get used to the speed. Now it's getting really good. I feel like we are getting a good connection with the tees. And um, I do feel like I'm just more experienced. I know how the games are going to be. So I kind of know how to, or know how to be more, I adjust to teams. So maybe that's why, uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really, <laughs> good uh, i don't know like it's kind of interesting to talk about it and just doing it in a practice because you don't even really you know notice it so i'm not really sure uh if i improved that much i hope so i and i'm appreciate if you think so well uh just an amateur but you know i i i think you have so 
take it for what it's worth. Now, um, is it's there, interesting. Is yeah. there, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Is there anyone that you model your game after? Uh, it'll be Vasilevsky from uh, Tampa Bay. That's kind of if I ask people who they who I kind of remind of them or who, who do they think it will be probably Vasilevsky from Tampa and he you know he's one of my favorites just how good he is and how athletic flexible and how unbeatable he is so that would be one guy I look up to. Well, preparation for a game. He, he's he's someone that is well known for his mental prep prior to a game. Is that something that you also emulate? I do. I do a lot of mental prep and med medicate, uh, medication, meditation, and uh, it'll be not good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do a lot of meditation and just visualizing and uh type of stuff so what it's worth i could be mental yeah but i think um on from a men mental side i'm not always you know i don't go with something to every game the same i kind of change over the season i kind of change things from the mental side like sometimes i'm more loose sometimes i'm more i'm more just depends you know how the streak goes if you're winning losing from the mental side, that would be that. And yeah, I do. I like to prepare like just visualizing and meditation and just be ready, you know, or something like that. Yeah, well, that that would that would help. It definitely helps. Um, just a couple more things. Uh, the studying of your, you mentioned the studying of your opponent's tendencies. Do you mm -hmm. find that your, your improved play with the puck behind the net, does that help your team's transitional play? Um. Yes, definitely. But it's different because I have a new, new D coach, new defenders. So there is a totally different, type of structure and players so um last year i couldn't done more things that need more courage and more like confidence this year i'm just kind of a just a passer and just kind of it's way easier and i wasn't used to that and i'm kind of used to that so um about the tendencies from other teams um i do like to know what type of team they are, but I don't like to go too crazy about it. To be like, read everything like a book because that's not how you play hockey. You try to react because I'm a guy. I'm trying to react to them. So I try to know some things, but also don't go crazy about it. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Cause if you start getting in too deep, then you, you guess you're starting to guess at that point. Yeah. Yes. Now, with Ohio being such a large program, and that, uh, and you guys are definitely in the running to try and get into the Frozen Four, what support systems do you have with the team for developing your game, for improving your game? I mean, you have a great coaching staff. Is there is there any one person on that staff that is really that you that you could single out and say this guy's helped me quite a bit? There's a lot. I mean. Um... You know, JB Bidner, he recruited me. He kind of helped me to go through everything. Coach Rolick, he's our head coach. He's been doing this for a long time with our team, and he has a lot of success with his structure and everything. Um, obviously, my goalie coach, uh, Dustin Carlson, who, you know, I have him for two years. He's great. He is a good, good, someone good to talk to. And there is our new, you know, addition to the staff, Luke Shran, who, who is new and he runs a lot of um, system in our team, PK. Um, I don't know about things other than that, but like, you know, our PK is probably best in the country. So that helps me a lot and helps us a lot to win games. And 
I think everyone is very good on our staff. That's kind of why we win because I don't think we are the most talented team, but we are definitely the most one of the most structured teams. And I think our team is very deep when we follow their uh system. So I, how I said before, it depends on us how far we go because we have it. We just need to, you know, follow and trust our group. The leadership group in the room, um, how in tune are they with uh, Coach Rolick's plan? Are they are they kind of like a, a second voice for him, or do they do they bring in it bring something else to the table as well? I think it's more like um, we know what to do. And if we don't do it, he doesn't need, need to really say a whole lot because we know it's usually, we all know like why, like why are we doing this to ourselves? And if we do it, we don't really know. We don't need to, we usually have a good results. So either way, like, I don't think we have a whole lot of meetings and talks for two hours. That's definitely not it. We kind of, at this point, we kind of know where we are at. And it's a good chemistry between you know, our team and them. They kind of go easy on us sometimes, but when we need it, they definitely, you know, give us a heads up. But it's working out well for us. We kind of, we kind of know what we stand on. Now, spring break is coming up soon. Are you guys planning a big trip up to Montreal or, or to Cancun? <laughs> Last year, we didn't go anywhere. No, we stayed home. I never went to the spring break here, honestly. Always playing hockey, so I don't, I don't even... I'll be probably just here playing hockey, honestly. So, it will, it will be fine. Sounds like a better spring break than most. I don't know. I don't know what real spring break feels like. I only play hockey, so it's, you know... I know I've done them. I just can't remember them. So I, I yeah. wish I could tell you otherwise. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> that's that's pretty much everything I, that I want to go over with you is um, just I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for uh, sharing some of these stories with me. And I want to wish you the best of luck this season uh, going into the Frozen Four and all the ind individual accolades that may come with that. So Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Keep in touch.